28th of November, it is 12 p.m. and this is the NZ Travel Show. How are you doing, Laura? I'm good. So this is Robin and I'm Laura and we're the team behind nzpocketguide.com which is New Zealand's largest travel guide because it literally has thousands and thousands of articles to help you plan the perfect trip to New Zealand to lovely places like this. So this live session is all for you guys, for you guys to ask your questions on travelling in New Zealand and we go through every single one of the comments. Although we are out of our normal studio today, we will try to not miss any comments. Usually we go through everything, but yeah, hopefully we get to, we get to see everybody's. Yes, all right. So I'm going to switch the camera uh, like that. Here you go. Boom, here you go. So we are starting today in Hookah Falls. Oops. With my finger over the camera. Anyway, we're starting today in Hookah Falls. We'll walk all the way back to the car with you guys. We'll just keep on swapping from uh, what we're doing and what we're not doing. Um, and so, okay, here we go. All right. Uh, where are you going? Here you go. Okay, so we started over there at Hookah Falls and we're slowly making our way. Oh, look at that. I, I, I want to show you all the viewpoints. So many good viewpoints. Boom. Look at that, guys. That's pretty epic. Look how blue the water is. Uh, CT says go to the Topo Clock Shop, it's really nice. Oh, I, I don't know where that we, is. We have but... been there before. Oh, really? It's great, yeah, because if you go there on the hour, all the all the cooking clocks go up at the same time. <laughs> so everything goes like ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah. is that where I got my watch? Yeah, we actually oh, okay. got Oh, yeah, yeah, we've been there, we've been Robin's there. Robin's watch done there. <laughs> how are you doing the Tamo? I saw that Tamo said hello. I don't really know how to see all the chat. It uh, comes up for like two seconds. And yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So if, if I miss one of your comments, it doesn't mean we hate you. We hate you. Okay. Let's go have a look at the next viewpoint. That's literally just right at the bottom. And over there you can see the jet boat, so it gives you a little bit of a scale right here. Hey Mark, so we are at Hookah Falls right now. Um, yeah, we just started the road trip, so we decided to start some fun. Austin awesome, says, um, yes, I'm following you. And this is the first time I'm watching you stream from Oakland. I arrived three days ago and loving it. I want to thank you guys for everything. Cheers. You're welcome, mate. That's awesome. All right, so I'll show you this one right here. Boom. Go there, go there. Look at the scale. Ooh. Token, <laughs> token photos. Boom. Okay, let's go, Laura. Okay, so we're still uh, going around. Laura is somewhere. Oh, here you go. Um, okay, so yeah, so we're just making our way back to our uh, Hooker Falls car park right now. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to start somewhere more fun. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, uh, Mark. Have you been to Topo already, Mark? I know that you are, I think if I remember, you're in Hamilton, which we may drive through Liti during our Patreon live show today. We keep on driving. CT says, where I uh, used to bike there every day. He used to bike here every day. Oh, nice. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's a good, good bike yeah. route. The, the, the facilities, I mean, the track is quite nice. You know what I mean? It's like pretty, pretty flat. And then BAM! Pick up also right here. Who's that? Who's that over there? Who's that? That's Laura. Anyway, we're going to keep following Laura. Here you go. That's going to be easier. Laura, I'm just following you. You're going to be easier. I'll tell you if anyone asks me something. Woo. Woo. That's a pretty crazy rapid. Give me the heebie Christine says, hey guys, uh, we made it, we're in Hoktika right now. Sadio your Fox Ailey was cancelled due to weather. Have fun. Oh no! Oh. Hey, let's go. The weather is very on and off today. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Alright, so next up we're going to go to that bridge. And then the car park is hi hiding somewhere over there. So. And then we're hitting the road. And then we're hitting the road, okay. Uh, okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Uh, Kiwi Lawrence says, Hi Robin and Laura, I had surgery on Monday. I'm off work for a few weeks while I recover. And ah, I lost the rest of the message. <laughs> oh. uh, Laura will uh, be able to read all the message in a minute. When we get in the yeah. car, she'll use her own phone. But yeah, right now we're just uh, checking out the car So right now we're arriving at a bridge. There you go, we got a good view. All right, let's keep going. 
Nice, he's pretty intense. I have to say, there is a lot of people today at uh, Hookah Falls, but... This is definitely not as busy as we've seen it before. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the car park is like fully packed, but yeah, that was quite, um, that was quite awesome. Anyway, that was a, just a fun way to start that. Tamo says, a lovely stream, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a stream, lovely... Yes. Well, we're streaming at the stream, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Kim Lauren says, I miss where you are, but this is Hookah Falls. Yes, it is Hookah Falls indeed. So you see, you didn't miss where we are. You got the right place. And so yeah, right now we are helping on the car and we're just going to do that live session as we're driving. So yeah, so if you guys have any questions or any comments, go nuts. We're going to get ourselves settled. We just wanted a, a fun start, you know. Hop, here we go. Here we go. That's not going to be fun for one second. <laughs> this is the awkward part where we miss. Where we have to set up everything. And Tamo says uh, there were way less people when I was there. Oh yeah? Well, you got lucky, mate. You got lucky. It's also a weekend, I guess, so a few more extra locals perhaps yeah. around. All right. Um, so yeah, Laura is getting herself situated. She has, uh, she's going to have all the comments yeah. right there. Well, that's the idea at least. Yep. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh. I'm gonna have to switch. Uh... Yeah. Okay, guys. So, this is the NZ Travel Show on the road. Uh, Kiwi Lawrence says, I haven't been to Hookah Falls for a solid 12 plus year. I thought I recognized it. Good memories of Topo. Beautiful evening at the Brett. Very uh, good atmosphere. And I don't know the rest. Anyway, I'll get to it in a sec. Yes. Laura is gonna be able to get to the comments in a minute. I'm just gonna turn the camera a little bit so we can see Laura in full. Here we go. All right. Laura is getting herself situated. We have, we are cheated out today. I can tell you that. And we'll keep on swapping, so we'll show you the road in a minute. It's just right now, we're just going to see the parking lot, so that's not going to be too great. Yeah. But yeah, very shortly we'll see everything. All and right, so I can read the rest of Kiwi Lauren's oh, yeah, go um, nuts. comment saying, haven't been to Hooker Falls for a solid 12 plus years, but I thought I recognized it. Good memories of Topo, beautiful evening at Debrett's Hot Pools. Oh, that is a cool one. Did you go on the water slides? <laughs> um, very neat atmosphere to hang out there at night, yeah. It's one of the, a lot of the hot Sorry. pools tend to close at about 8 p.m. But I think Debrett's is one of those rare yeah. ones that stays open a bit longer. So yeah, it's, it's very good. Very All good. right, so we're leaking, leaving the Hookah Falls car park. We're going to uh, switch the camera right now. We're going to face front so you guys get to see it a little bit more uh, when Nora is ready. Um, we're going to switch yeah. the camera front. And yeah, so we'll keep on going. We, we keep on going. We'll swap from our faces to uh, the front as we go and yeah if you have any questions go nuts we're here to uh, answer all your questions about traveling in New Zealand because as Laura said we can are the experts of traveling in New Zealand so yeah. here we go uh, now we're going to see some of the uh, Topo suburbs so that's not going to be the most exciting part of a road trip today I'll be honest with you uh, because Hooker Falls is located like relatively in the uh, it's a bit on the outside outskirt but it's like still quite center in Topo so yeah but yeah how's the audio and uh, the video quality and all that is it working fine for you guys we just uh we'd love to know to make sure that you know uh we're still getting a tip-top streaming experience you used to know and love yeah look at those two lovely people uh they're walking all the way to hookah falls to have the experience of a lifetime over there checking out that amazing place there is a few hikes there as well to do yeah you can even walk from a uh, spa park which... here's hookah lodge sorry to stop Ooh, yeah. we just passed hookah lodge which is where barack obama stayed when he uh, visited uh when he visited new zealand and over there we can see the helicopters just behind this big hedge right here that we're going to pass so behind all these hedges where all the helicopter tours of Hooker Falls are uh, starting at. But yeah, we just uh, we just saw uh, Mr. Obama's uh, <laughs> New, his, Zealand, New Zealand uh, yeah, food pied a terre. Anyway. All right, Kiwi Lauren is uh, giving us a few more comments saying, I feel like I'm doing, uh, I'm about to, sorry. I feel like I'm about to head on collision watching this driving in the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Uh, we also have Tamo saying, video quality is bad as hell, but still recognizable. <laughs> Thanks for the honest feedback, yeah, Tamo. Actually, the audio is fine now. Um, and then we have Mark saying, it's about two hours from here. It's my top 
uh, here to go list. Have to go, sorry, have to go list. Oh, so you haven't been to Hookah Falls yet, mate? Oh. It's one of the most visited natural attractions in the whole country, just for its sheer accessibility. Like, you saw us literally starting over there and making our way back to the car, and that was that quick, right? So, um... It's just too easy to get to, so yeah, yeah, that's it's what... Very, that's very easy what makes it like so popular indeed indeed all right should we swap the the the, the back to our back town, fine yeah? faces yeah our beautiful faces not just fine they're beautiful oh, we just missed the person trying to cycle up a hill that looked kind of rough yeah well we, we're not here to mock people are we no we're not rude I'm, people i'm sorry that i even mentioned it yeah that that would be that would be rude what's kili lauren says random question about healthcare in new zealand i just had a a histo uh, sorry, a hysterectomy on Monday in Canada and paid exactly zero dollars for the major surgery. Would NZ people have the same health care with no bill at the end? You still have a little bit to pay at the end, but we're talking about like a few hundreds. Um, so yeah, um, it really depends. So for us, it's a little bit different because we are self-employed. And so we basically pay something called the ACC, which is the Accident Compensation Corporation or something like that. And yeah. uh, that basically uh, covers uh, for your you know, universal health care. So you kind of pay for it through the business, but um, yeah. But um, that's for accidents only. That's not for. No, yeah, but ICC covers pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, yeah. No, I'm not. We don't know enough about that to be yeah. able to be expert and tell you that about it. Uh, but for example, you saw me breaking my arm, right? It cost me about 170 dollars at the end. Uh, not when I left the hospital. I received the bill like months later. But that was 170 dollars for the whole thing, and you know, I got X-ray and everything, which would have cost uh, way more. So here we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're having a nice bit of a crossroad. Uh, We'll probably swap the camera as soon as I finish crossing that road. Um, actually, we'll swap it now because why not? Now I can't. Yeah, no, now I you, can't do it. Now do it, you, Laura. Now you can see uh, the cr crossing. Here you go. So there is some cars. There is currently some cars on the left of the screen right now that you can see, but they have priority on us um, because I have a giveaway and also because the way you approach an intersection in New Zealand, one of the easiest way to remember who goes first right here is. Picture a T, a letter T, right? I'm the bottom line of the T, and those guys are the top of the T. And the saying is, top of the T's goes before me. Ooh, I wasn't confident this guy was going a bit too fast, but I'm going to go afterwards. Here we go. Booyah. Top of the T went before yeah. me. That doesn't work. That doesn't work as much. <laughs> So Kiwi Lauren says, I'm always amazed at my American friends who have paid thousands of dollars to have a baby or hundreds of dollars for, to go see the doctor for a minor uh, health issue. Yeah, it's definitely, from what I've heard, New Zealand healthcare is nowhere near as expensive as it yeah. is in the US. No, no, it, it's really cheap. It's really, really, it's, it's, it's hev like heavily subsidized, yeah, I would say. It's as close as it gets to free universal healthcare as well. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. You still pay, you pay for doctor consultation, so there are payments that you still have to make. Yeah, um, yeah if you go to see a GP, a general practitioner, a normal doctor, because you get a cold or something, you have to pay for it, yes. Yeah, and obviously for residents, it's cheaper. Uh, for people that are living in New Zealand, it's cheaper. Uh, they do have like, a, if you go for a doctor's consultation as a tourist, there's usually a different fee, which um, uh, I've always seen it as around 80 New Zealand dollars to have a doctor yeah. consultation if you're a tourist. And for different, for, for comparison, we pay about um, uh, we pay about 20 for us. Um, so yeah, um, so we pay about 20. A, a tourist will pay about 80, and then when you become resident, then uh, then it's uh, it's down to 20 for you. Yeah. Mark uh, was saying some stuff, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, <coughs> Yeah, so Mark says, um, I know I should be there already. Shame on me. I went to the Coromandel in the, on the North Island. Beautiful, but got stuck for two days due to a big storm. But wow. it was fun. Oh. Well, listen, today we didn't know how long this road trip was going to take us. So we're going all the way to Auckland, right? And uh, we didn't know how long it will take us because... Um, because of all the bad weather and everything, but the weather seems to be on and off and on and off. You know, usually we tell you guys, we say, hey, in New Zealand, it's four seasons in one day. And, uh, you know, because, you know, you need to pack a lot of different stuff, right? And today, it genuinely feels that it's not four seasons, uh, for, uh, four seasons in one day, it's four seasons in an hour. It yes. has changed so much. By the time we were walking towards the Falls and just before I clicked 
the record button. We're talking about five minutes. It was actually raining on us. Laura still have some, you know, little raindrops on us. <laughs> so, raindrops, yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. All right, let's swap again our camera. Yeah. Any, anybody else asking questions? Yeah, so Tamo says, uh, the bigger ones go first, or the bravest, or the stupidest. Uh, he doesn't say all the stupidest. That's just my input there. I think talking about uh, cars pulling out. Yeah. And then we have Tamo again saying, I've only seen one season in one week. Okay. You've only seen rain? <laughs> no, you haven't. Um, speaking of Tamo, did I tell you that Tamo got a new camper van uh, from Wilderness Camper? Did I tell you that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you did. So, so Tamo is one of our Patreons. So uh, on Patreon, we, we have a, a little bit of a Facebook chat where we can chat kind of all the time and help out with the trip and everything like that. And uh, Tamo had some issue with, the cam with his campers, and uh, the company gave him a massive campers in exchange for his tiny one. So now he's traveling with literally a castle on wheel, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the Weraki Golf Course, and all this forest on the left side of the road that you guys can see right now is where I went with my mate Will to go get that kiwi bird uh, not that long ago. If you remember, we did Kiwi Week, and I went to go collect a kiwi bird and then release it and everything. So this next to us right now is a kiwi bird sanctuary. You can see on the on the left, if you pay really attention to the crappy quality video we're showing you, there is uh, a special fence right here. Oh, you can see it very well right here. There is a special fence, which is a predator-proof fans and so yeah that fans basically gets uh, I mean the key keeps uh, possums cats uh, stray dogs everything like that out and so in that the forest surrounding that golf course they are uh, releasing a small kiwi bird chicks so the really small kiwi birds and uh, once they grow big enough and they mature enough then they release them in the world so that's a really cool place and um, then also yeah. on our left hand side, it's changed to the other Wairaki Golf Course. There's two Wairaki Golf Course. There's a cheaper one and a more expensive one. The cheaper one has only got nine holes and you can see us actually playing golf there during New Zealand's biggest gap year. Uh, like where a few years ago, Robin and I did 365 days of 365 activities. And yeah, that was one of the activities, going to play golf at that um, more affordable golf course. Definitely more affordable. It's one of the, the, the Weraki, uh, like the Weraki golf course, uh, the, the big one with the Kiwi Sanctuary in there, is one of the top golf courses in New Zealand, so it's, uh, it's not cheap for sure. Yeah. Alright, so we're about to have a big roundabout right here, so you guys are going to be able to see me pass through a roundabout. I know that you guys always have questions about how to maneuver your way through roundabouts. Don't go at 100 kilometers an hour just before a roundabout. That is insane. I don't know why there is a sign here. And once we are done with that, we'll be able to uh, get back to our faces. So here you go. So I arrive at the roundabout. I see, I look at the traffic. There, is there gonna be any cars? Yes, there's only one car, boom. And I'm gonna go. Usually you let the traffic go so you can get acquainted with how to take the roundabout. So especially if you just pick up your camper van and you're not confident driving on the wrong side of the road. All right, let's swap the camera quickly. Let's have a look. We're still here, guys. We're still, still here. Did you move the camera a little bit? There, the food, the, you know, like the holder keeps on moving. Oh yeah. 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 We don't, we don't want to lose yeah. Robin's face there, no, do we? I mean, we? you know, I deserve to be on camera no, too. you should, you should. All right. So, um, so yeah, what, what, what are people saying? Well, we haven't had any other comments. No, you guys are staying though. quiet right now? I know, there are, we're on at a bit of a weird time for most of our regular viewers. So usually yeah. we do this session at 8 a.m. New Zealand time every single Sunday. But just because today's plans were very, very different, and we are going to catch a flight at the end of the day. We are doing our session right now, mid midway through the day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just a one-off. We have uh, Chance Brickman Soul saying. Oh, Chance Brickman Soul! You would have got it. The best, the whole world of the best username. Of the you need to come back next time, mate. So it's happening every Sunday, right? Come back next time. I give you an award. Right now we're on the road, so I don't have all of my magic tools. <laughs> but yeah, I I'll give you an award next time. So, uh, he says, planning a three weeks in New Zealand early next year. Ooh, Ooh exciting. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Where are you planning on going, Chance? Are you going to, uh, are you on the North Island, South Island, both islands? So you said three weeks? Three weeks. Yeah, I think in three weeks you have a chance to be able to, oh, chance, oh, but a bunch. Uh, but no, you have, uh, yeah, you are lucky enough to be able to do both islands. Uh, you know, some people contact us and try to cram like, you know, both island into one week or one and a half week, which is just not enough time 
in my opinion. But doing three weeks, uh, that's going to be absolutely awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of Patreon subscribers. So on Patreon, we uh, we have people that, uh, that they, you know, there's a link in the description. You can check what, what, what happened in there. Anyway, you can support us uh, on Patreon and... Um, to read and then chances. There you go. Hey, we're back, guys. Sorry about that. We went through the classic uh, Wi-Fi tunnel. Anyway, so yeah, what was I saying? What, what was I saying? Yes, on Patreon, Patreon, some people start putting their itinerary, and I love seeing where you And we add our notes to the itinerary as well, giving you some tips and everything. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, um, yeah. So tell us where you're going, Chant. We love to hear where people are going. Anyway, David Burrow speaking on Patreon is here. David Burrow says greetings. It's fun to see you on the road again. Yeah, we're pretty stoked to be on the road again. And we also have Chance saying he's traveling to both islands. I've, I've watched a bunch of your videos so far. Yeah. Um, so cool. Um, yeah. Any any places that are on your must visit yeah. list? If you were one the video, Chance, actually, we started this video at Hooker Falls. So we show, we were showing Hooker Falls. I'm sure Hooker Falls is going to be on your itinerary. Surely. But yeah, we started that video at Hooker Falls, which was quite fun. Hey, David, it's awesome to have you on board for one of the live shows. I know usually you can't make it to the live shows because it's not the right timing for you. But it looks like when we change the timing, uh, it's better for everybody. Yeah. Uh, we have the lovely Seok here with us, one of our other Patreons, saying... I was talking about Seok. Yeah, saying, good morning, uh, Rob and Laura. Impressive that you can drive and conduct a live session at the same time. Well, Laura is mostly in charge of the live session, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, Rob is in charge of turning this camera that seems to keep, yeah. keep wanting to twizzle around. So if you were to, uh, to turn it from the top, it's easier. Oh, yeah. For the plastic stuff, yeah. Okay. If you want to swap the camera, guys, we can show you where we're driving through. It's kind of nice at the moment, so yeah. We'll keep on swapping from our faces to uh, what you guys can see in the front. It's, uh, and so you just hold the, the square now. Yeah, yeah. I know. Here we go, like that. Yeah, but I'm just like turning that. it for the view. All right. Uh, uh, so, who else is there? Uh, well, that, that's it for now. We, we've got we've got we've got Chase, we've got Dingren. Nice. Okay, so we have some of the main now. Uh, how long until we reach? Ooh, I should totally sign up as a Patreon and share your proposed itinerary with Rob and Laura. They give fantastic tips. Oh, yeah. Okay. So actually, something that happened with Seok is that we literally we did the itinerary completely from. To bottom when she sent it to us, and uh, then she said, "No, we did. Uh, we did think of that. Um, we did think of doing the itinerary in a different way, but um, but then you know we we talked ourselves back. So then basically, she already had a lot of the thought that we gave her, and uh, apparently, I think it's her husband wasn't keen for that. So stop the, that's not good um, So yeah, so cars." Actually, I'm driving too slow for the Kiwis right here. I'm driving about 90 kilometers an hour. Where we are right now is about 100 kilometers an hour. And yeah, we start getting some fun rain. So hopefully we're gonna we're gonna get to that. Can you guys see the blue the blue section of the sky right now? I'm aiming for that. I hope the road will lead yeah. me there. But I'm aiming for that. All right, let's uh, put it back onto our yeah. faces. Yes. Nobody wants to see the rain. Nobody wants to see the rain in it. We have uh, chasing Adeline here saying hi. Ooh, that's been a while. Saying too bad it's blurry. Yeah, I mean we're we having very spotty internet. You know how it is traveling through, traveling on the go, and yeah. the internet's in and out. So um, hopefully it's 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 okay enough to keep on watching. We did set the quality. Questions. Yeah, we did set the quality for as high as it gets. It's just you know like obviously uh, internet connectivity in New Zealand is not necessarily the best. So we're doing we're doing we're doing we're making do with what we have. That's what yeah. I wanted to say. Yeah. Uh, Ch Chances got another comment saying, using the intercity bus with a flexi pass, we really want to hike the Tongariro Pass, but the bus doesn't stop there. How easy is it to find a shuttle that could take us from Topol? Oh, very easy. Yeah, um, so to from Topol, there's actually not that many options. You're probably your best option for the shuttle would be the Tongariro Expeditions. 
Um, so yeah, Tongariro Expeditions, they do shuttles from Topol. Um, so yeah, look them up on their website or give them a call. They're very, they're, it's a company that a lot of people from Topol use. And and they, one of the national park, it's the name of the town which is nearby Tongariro, or in Turangi, uh, intensity goes to both places and from there you'll be able to take a shuttle for the Tongariro crossing and that would make it much easier for you because instead of having to do like you know an hour and a half shuttle on the way in and an hour and a half on the way back adding three hours to your day you may be able to shrink that to under you know 30 minutes which may be really good especially if you yeah. stay in national park so that may be the best way to do that and uh, staying in national park you may want to stay at a place called Manor Fenua Lodge um, so Laura will spell that to you in a second if you want. Yeah. And so those people, they actually own a company called National Park Shuttle. And so you can stay to their lodge, which is kind of a hostel, right? And uh, so it's really, you know, it's very budget, which is going to be good for you if you're traveling with the city. But it's still really good quality, like hand on heart. They're a great Maori family. They're from the land, you know, they're really awesome people. All right. So yeah, so Laura just spelled you my when you are lodge uh, for you. So I hope that you got that spelling. And so yeah, so if uh, he's just uh, asking again, how do you spell that lodge? Uh, just in case you didn't get it, it's M A N O Mano, and Venua is W H E N U A. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then lodge. Yeah. So Mano Venua Lodge. So yeah. So that's where I would stay if I were you. That's kind of like that's going to be like your your best like budget accommodation budget shuttle but still like really good service so that's that's what i would suggest for you yeah. and also save you a lot a lot of like hassle on that day you know you're about to a hike 19.6 kilometers which is the length of the tongaero crossing right you don't necessarily want to add three hours worth of shuttle in there by staying with them your total shuttle time should be under half an hour yeah. and uh, it will save you money as well so yeah hang on i think the name of the lady uh is Tracy she's absolutely lovely so yeah now we, we always recommend to stay c closer to the Tongariro crossing and Topo yeah. is one of the towns actually that you can do the crossing from but it's the furthest away from yeah. the crossing itself so usually they start the shuttles very early from Topo they'll start them around 5 a.m. so I don't know but that's not great for everyone so yeah. it's kind of it's kind of best to stay a little bit swap the camera as well nice just want to show you some like nice vistas right now while we have a little bit of sun uh, in between the patches of rain we'll swap in and out uh, look there is a couple of construction of road, road signs right here uh, yeah here you go uh, anyway any other comments uh, not just yet you guys are very quiet today you guys yeah. want me to focus on the driving don't you <laughs> wow this guy has been absolutely nuts so in New Zealand where you have a yellow line that means you shouldn't cross and there are people literally crossing on all the yellow line and the guy that literally just rushed behind me, so yay! Rushed to get into a 50, uh, 50k zone. Yeah. Look how they, how much they compact the, uh, the, the, the cows in the fields in, in New Zealand. I, always, I found, always found that quite striking when I first came to New Zealand. Like in the UK, I guess like cows are quite spread quite far out, but in New Zealand they, they sort of cram them into small paddocks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just, just, just saying what I see. Really. Yeah. Anything else in the live chat? Uh, okay. So, and Chance has some other comments saying, um, okay, great. Definitely want to avoid the shuttle time. Yeah. Uh, he also says, have you been to the National Army Museum? Yes, we have. We have yes. a video of that. Yeah, you can check out our video um, on YouTube. So just search New Zealand Army Museum. We should be one of the early results, but if we're not, you know, New Zealand Army Museum and then search NZ Pocket Guide and you should find our video. So if you want to get a bit of a glimpse of what that experience is like. But yeah, it, it's a very it's a very cool museum. If you are into, you know, your World War history, that sort of thing, or just war history in general, it is definitely an interesting museum. They do uh, they have, you know, they have tanks, so that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of big, like, um, you know, machines and, and quite cool, like, static displays. You know, they do them quite well. Um, yeah, it was, it is a very interesting museum. 
uh, definitely worth checking out and it's also it, it's also on the the main highway through New Zealand on State Highway 1 so um, yeah so it's it's usually it's good pit stop as well it's like in the middle of nowhere basically where you don't have many other reasons to stop but then you have that National Army Museum and it's a uh, yeah it's just uh, a good place to uh, to be able to stop but if you're on the intercity bus that would be obviously a bit of a you would have to be stopping in the town which is uh, Wairu um, so yeah you'd have to actually stop off at the town just bear in mind the intercity probably wouldn't give you the time to hop out go around the museum and hop also the museum in. is not necessarily in the town it's a little bit outside the town so you'd have a bit of a walk um all right so we understand still right now so as you guys saw there is a lot of construction going right now so there is like a stop and go system over there so we, we are stopping so i can read some comments can i read someone yeah so tamo just came up uh so chance says it's just me lol so he's <laughs> traveling by himself and then tamo says i saw what, what i can do oh here i saw those tanks but sadly didn't stop there i tried to be more flexible from now on <laughs> yeah Oh, you don't necessarily have to stop when you see tanks, unless the tanks kind of ask you to stop. So yeah, um, <laughs> let's, just, let's just make that clear. If there's a tank pointing a gun at you, just kind of stop. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just looking and see what's going on over there. Yeah, you know, see stop and go. They get like cars to go like three by three. So yeah, we'll see. It's going to be our turn at some point. Well, at least we can chill out for a bit. Yeah, we can relax a little bit. Uh, so Tamo, you are where at the moment? Did Tamo say where he was? Tamo, where are you at the moment? I know you're on the south end. I know you exchanged your camera van already, but... Chance says, uh, my master's project was creating an interactive retelling of a really terrible outbreak on a New Zealand troop ship during 1918 pandemic called the Death Ship. Wow. What? That's interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Also, a realistic retelling. So what, did you just get all your classmates to cough on each other during <laughs> COVID-19 and uh, were like, well, look, now we all, uh, we all bad? What's the hubs with that? Yeah. The quality must be so much better now that we're not moving, by the way. Also, <laughs> also I see a tower over there that may be, uh, may be a cell phone tower, so yeah, here you go. Tamo uh, says he's in Omaru at the moment. Omaru? Oh, are you going to go see the little blue penguins tonight? Is I that what's the plan? I love Omaru. It's so Dude. fun. It's such a fun town. Have you been to the more? Go to the pie this? shop. You, oh, yeah. That's so, true. yeah, did you see on. Okay, we're just talking about our, our Patreon. We have a secret Patreon like, um, Facebook group, but Peter. Uh, posted a pie shop in Omaru, so go check that out. Yeah, go there. check out and just, you know, we need to correlate the information given by Peter, you right? Peter said that was amazing. Let's see, let's see. David Burrow says, Hey, David. This reminds me of the area around where I live. There's road construction everywhere at the moment. Oh. Let me show you, let me show you. Hey, yeah. Man. Hey, we're we just waiting, just waiting, nothing fun. All right, what is happening? Seok says, Hi Tamo, you are covering a lot of distance. I just peeked at your itinerary on Patreon. Yeah, Tamo, uh, what's really cool, I like, I was actually just discussing with Robin. I was saying. Yeah, to before him, the live show, we were talking about Tamo. We like we, to gossip about Tamo. Yeah, we were not. gossiping about Tamo, but I'm just really impressed by his itinerary. Like, he's obviously, yeah, he's had, he's had a long time to plan this, but he is going to some really interesting places that are are a bit off the beaten track he's even going to some places that we've never been before the white boulders on the way down to wellington so there's like this one attraction that we haven't been to <laughs> out the whole country and yeah tamo is going there and it's yeah it's just really cool he's going to some very alternative places but you can tell that he's had you know done a lot of research into his trip for new zealand so yeah it's just really impressed by his itinerary you got the laura seal of approval here yeah. mate i mean that's high praises yeah um, yeah, and Tamo's saying that he is planning to visit Steampunk HQ. Of course, it is. A, I think that's a must-do in Oberu. It is very, it's very quirky. It's very cool. Um, it is funny. Yeah, enjoy. Yeah, it is fun. Uh, okay, we also have a chance saying I actually pitched the project to the museum who bought it and created a whole exhibition around it. Which it's museum is that? Is that the National, is that at the National Army Museum, Chance? Is that what you're talking about? Um, you create a whole exhibition around that. It's still open. It's one of the main reasons I'm traveling there. Oh, yeah, so it must be. Wow, that's wow, epic. That's amazing. That's really nice. Whew. So, so You'll be a guest of honor. <laughs> I know. Do they know you're coming? All that? Well, that's really epic. That's really cool. That's awesome, mate. That's really nice. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I well, wish we, we were to, going. We have to get back. There. I know. I wish we were going the other direction. I would. I would genuinely have stopped and went to go check your exhibition uh, for yeah. sure. 
Uh, yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Really and nice. yeah, Boiling. that that, mu that museum is um is quite large as well. Like they were yeah. even when we were there, they were adding more to it. They they had like a whole kids section as well. If you're traveling as a family, they have like a whole kids activity area and then a whole cafe thing going on there too. It's it's pretty huge. Um it's quite impressive. Um yeah. It's not just uh, you know, another drab and dusty museum. It's actually it is actually quite cool. Uh, Tamo is saying he's having the he's having the adventure of a lifetime. Oh, he so is. So, he so is. is. We actually got lucky enough to see Tamo on the road, which was really cool. We grabbed a coffee together. We visited his uh, tiny motorhome. It was like I'm only going to get the big motorhome when you guys are gone. So we saw his tiny motorhome, and uh, now it he still wasn't one. exactly tiny. I know it was great. I know. I'm good. just joking. <laughs> it was great. Um, ta uh, sorry, Chance is saying yeah. It's currently at Nam National Army yeah. Museum. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's really cool, Chance. Yeah. That's really so, Chance. Where are you from? Like, uh, give us a bit of con. So we like. I, I don't know. That's probably the first time you're showing up. Or that's probably not the first time you're showing up. But sometimes I kind of forget. We like to know our, our regular viewers a little bit. So, where are you from? You know, just tell us a little bit more. But uh, that's really awesome that yeah. you are. You are. You are have designed an exhibition for the National Army Museum. I wouldn't even know where to begin with to design a museum. Yeah. Uh, or an exhibition. Sorry. Uh, Tamo says, I'm glad uh, I did the White Cliff Boulders trip before I had to swap my motorhome. It would have been a, d a death trap with a 7.4 meter house. Yeah, when I saw the photo you posted on the secret Facebook group, mate, I was impressed by the size of this thing. I will not be happy driving this thing around, to be quite fair. But I mean, hey. You know, now you can live in luxury. You can put your bags everywhere. Yeah, you can, you know, spread out, stretch, stretch out all over the place. You yeah. don't even need to put your bags away. Just yeah, hey, go. <laughs> put all your clothes on the floor. You've got the space. And this is why Laura <laughs> is not a load of motorhome anymore. <laughs> And Chance says, uh, thank you. They're paying for my accommodations when I stop by. One of the coolest things I've ever done. Oh, Well, wow. they're paying for your accommodation. Are you going to stay in an army barrack? Because that, that could be dangerous, mate. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, Ooh, you, you, you are the guest of honor then if they're, they're sorting out your accommodation for you. That, that's awesome. That's yeah. great. Also, what give you the idea to pitch like a, something to a, a museum in another country? I mean, is there, yeah. I have so many questions for you. <laughs> I'm like so confused. Yeah. So yeah, we keep showing you our face right now just because we're literally in traffic in between cones. So it's not it's not that fun just yet. We see just a lot of orange scones. Scones? Co orange Ooh. cones. I wish I was seeing some orange scones. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so yeah, for now it's not that fun for the view, but we'll switch very soon to some beautiful New Zealand roads. Yeah, Seok is congratulating Chance, saying congratulations Chance, that's epic. Oh, Seok is always. Always oh, hand nice. on heart, very nice. I love it. There's a guy which is literally out of his car. Oh, yeah. Doesn't like this road works. I know. There's like so many people out of their car. It's kind of like, guys, we waited like five minutes. It's not really a reason to leave your car. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Chance says, um, I'm from Ohio. Oh, wow. Okay. The mu museum director didn't realize I was American until a couple of uh, emails into our uh, correspondence. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, okay, how did the whole thing unfold? Like, how did you... I was, at least there is no fire danger today, uh, which is good. All right, everybody, we are under the rain. The weather is terrible, therefore the internet is terrible. We're going between hills, so therefore the connection is inadequate. But we still remain... And we want to go live for you, so we'll swap and show you the road for a minute. Yeah, here for you guys. Yes, ask you questions about traveling in New Zealand, and uh, despite the rain, rain and shine, we will answer your questions. Laura has a couple of comments that some of you left before before we, we disconnected. disconnected. All right, so go for it, Laura. Rafa Cat is here saying hello, guys. How are you guys from Leeds? Hey, how are you? Where are you traveling? We are traveling to Leeds, UK. I don't know if you heard of it. It's a small little town in the UK. Yeah. Uh, North Yorkshire's finest. So if you rewind the live session and you go all the way to the beginning, you will see beautiful Hooker Falls. Look at that rain, people. Ooh, that's a lot of rain. What a pleasure. Uh, so yeah, so you see the beautiful Hooker Falls and we're making our way toward Auckland. And yeah, we, they, we, we're trying to be live with you guys answering all your questions, but you know. We are dealing with what the weather is throwing at us, so you know, 
the internet's going to be on and off. And um, Siok is saying, is there any other platform where we can see your work chance? Or see your master's project, I mean. Yeah, well, now we are, we, I think together we've sort of created a new fan club for chance. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, he's pretty much a celebrity in New Zealand if he's got his own uh, his own museum display. I know, and, if and he's a guest of honour at the Wellington Museum, yeah. So yeah, yeah, we want to know more, uh, Chance, if you've got any more places where your work is, any other platforms where you can see your, your work. Yeah, is there a digital version of your, uh, of your exhibition? We're playing a uh, road trip roulette right here, uh, in between each. Use, use lodge. The bees knees lodge. We just passing something called the bees knees lodge. Oh, here you go. We always think this gas station is the cheapest in the country. There's always a queue right here. Oh well, we're not sure. So that's that's not great. Anyway, Laura is going to go over the comments because uh, that if anyone ever watched the replays of this. Uh, all the patchy moments will be patched together. So let's go. Okay, Chance was saying the video feed is lagging for me, but I think you were asking more about how the project came to be. Um, I am, and Ben says, I am so honoured. <laughs> and then we were all gushing over Chance's. Um, yeah, you me? Oh, we were all gushing over Chance's achievement of getting his exhibition at the National Army Museum. Yeah, that, that's awesome. That's a great achievement. Man. Anthony Comstock's here. Ooh. One of our other lovely patrons saying. He's in New Zealand right now. He's travelling right now. Not only is he in New Zealand, but he says we are in Oakuni going to Auckland. Oh, well, we're doing a similar road, mate. We're on our way to Auckland, so we just passed Topo. So we, we're like kind of driving about the same kind of direction, yeah. mate. We're That's just really a bit, awesome. bit further ahead than you, obviously. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you do in Oakuni? Did you get a giant chocolate eclair? That is, ah. It's famous over there for their giant chocolate eclairs. Uh, only available some like part of the year. It's not available all year, but I think they are still open. They're usually still open in November, closing towards the end of November. Um, so yeah, did you get a chocolate eclair? It is, we, we must know, we must know. You know what I like is like right now we only have three viewers so it feels like everybody could fit in our car. I love <laughs> yeah. that. I just I genuinely love it. I feel like you know it's intimate guys. It's as intimate as our tiny yeah. little car right here. Thank so you. all three of you yeah. watching us, I love you. Yeah, thank, thanks for staying with us. I know that it is lagging so much. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah. And if you're re-watching it, uh, well it keeps on dropping on and off all the time, but that's okay. Yeah, we're still here for 50 minutes now and I feel like, uh, you know, we've been live for about 40 minutes of that. We had about 10 minutes stop, uh, stop and go, but, you know, should be good now. Should be good now. We cleared a few hills. Lawrence is here saying hello. Laura, hey, Lawrence. How are you doing? And everyone just dropping by to say a quick hello. She's in uh, Auckland as well, I think, right? Are you in Auckland yet, Lawrence? I think she is. She arrived this week. Yay! Swap it! Quick, quick, quick! We'll show you the road! Yay! Here, look at the beautiful road. Anyway, we're back. Uh, it's stop and go all the time. Anyway, what are the comments that we had? Oh, uh, so... Hello, Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence is here. Hello, Lawrence. 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 And you feel like asking questions to the expert behind us, travel guide, well, go ahead. We're here to answer all your questions about traveling in New Zealand. Then we said they are 8 a.m. New Zealand time, usually, but today we're doing a bit of an exceptional live session since uh you know since since we're there and uh yeah we're well, just doing a bit of a road in series all the uh, native of new zealand but they're part of the right now all in the, you can see where the new zealand city forest you really don't want to fit in the car so of you that would be eight people in total 
I don't think that all of you guys can fit in the car right now, but we still welcome all of you guys. Seven people watching, that means including us as nine people. Okay, you're all really going to, going to have to uh, cram like sardines at the back of the car, but we'd love for you to join us for this awesome project. You can project. just see like the wheels of our suitcases yeah. back here. <laughs> So yeah, all right, uh, who else is there in the chat? Come on guys, if you do have any questions, go nuts. Otherwise, I keep talking about the amazing sceneries we see. Well, Robin will have to keep on talking about the yeah. amazing scenery. Wow, Laura, Laura has a whole setup. She's using two phones and all that. I mean, we kitted this thing out to the max and yet we're still like reconnecting and disconnecting and reconnecting. But yeah, so after this live session, session in over, is over in about 15 minutes, we'll do another one hour of this live show, which we're going to be doing with our Patreon. So it's going to be an exclusive live session for our Patreon. It's going to be a blast as well, and yeah, after that, oof, that's a lot of wind. Wind, yeah. Do you want to show the beautiful view right now? Look at that. I mean, where's the rain? It keeps on going rain and sun and rain and sun. It's just amazing. I love We're it. definitely experiencing two seasons in a day, yeah, uh, at yeah, least. For sure. Nice, nice. We're currently dressed in our shorts, though. It's quite warm. It's yeah, it's really hot at the moment. So quite yeah. um, humid, muggy, muggy feeling. Muggy, muggy. <laughs> oh, we're such a bunch of nerds. Anyway, New Zealand nerds, Star Trek nerds, all kind of nerds in here, guys. Welcome to the Nerd Fest. So, um, yeah, what's uh, what's the kind of great thing to do around this part of New Zealand? So we're talking like driving, for example, if you make your way between uh, Auckland and Topo, where do you feel like stopping? Like if you want to do that commute, Laura? Um, well, I would take a bit of a detour off State Highway 1. Um, for instance, that you can go to a place called, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the waterfalls. It's the highest waterfall in the North Island. Why? It's not why, haha. -ha. Oh, oh, oh well, I, should, I, should, I should have thought about this making, before I yeah. got sites. Anyway, there is apparently a great waterfall. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's on that <laughs> good guy. It's there. But yeah, that's sort of between Matamata and Te Aroa. So I would get on off the main road and go actually between Matamata and Te Aroa and then in Te Aroa you can go climb Mount Te Aroa and get some views from there. Nice. Also stop by some, um, uh, and there's, they've got a, a central park with some steaming hot springs you can check out there as well so it, it's a very underrated little town but it's worth, you know, if you want to experience something off the main trail that is worth experiencing then I would recommend that. I can't believe I forgot the name of that waterfall. It's, it's come back to it will come back to you as soon as the live show is over as you're gonna you're gonna yeah. it. Alright, what's uh, what's we happening have, on the live chat? So we have uh, Kiwi Lawrence saying Hey she's back I had to run away for a bit. The kiddo isn't feeling well at the moment. Oh. I'm sure I missed but where are you two driving today? We are going to uh, we're going we started at Hooker Falls as you know and we are finishing in Oakland. Yeah. So yeah easy busy just driving Beautiful rolling hills of Waikato. That's uh, what we're driving on right now. Laura is going to swap quickly so you get to see the views as well a little bit. Yeah, other great place to stop between Auckland and uh, Topo include, uh, include, and again, that's a, a that's a decent detour, but everybody has to do it. And it's way Topo. It's a great place to uh, to stop by yeah. as well to it's break a up your walk. in the other direction, yeah. but yeah, for sure, that is a, that is a the most popular sort of detour I'd say. Uh, otherwise going the way, taking another detour, you can go to Rotorua and go that way up, um, which is a little bit different. Um, yeah, there, but we're, we're heading sort of straight up to Auckland today. We're not doing too much of a tourist drive. Well, I mean, we stopped at Hooker Falls, guys. We, we, we started at Hooker Falls, so, you know, you can, we, we gave you a bit of a uh, bit of cool attractions there, but Otherwise, we are we, we will be stopping very soon. Actually, we're coming up to the Tokoroa carving. Oh yes, we'll stop there, Jules. Uh, we will stop the carvings in Tokoroa at some point because uh, because we have one of our Patreon Extreme Talenta that wanted us to uh, to carve uh, you know pop there and just show it to you guys. So here you go. We'll show the Tokoroa carving. Yeah, I think it will be in about ten minutes. Yeah. And, um, we we'll probably finish this live show at the Tokora Carvings and then yeah. we'll start the Patreon live show there. So but in the meantime, we have uh, Tamo saying picture perfect weather here again. As I said, I only have seen rain in New Zealand in night at night time. All the days are sunny. Oh, that's awesome. But that, that's the, a better case scenario, I guess. <laughs> yeah, to be fair for us, it's just been on and off and on and off. You, look, that didn't stop us to go to 
pick up falls and uh, you know it doesn't stop us on the drive right here either yeah. so it's all good. It doesn't really change your travel plan so much it would only change your travel plan say if you're doing something like the Tom Guerrero crossing or you're going into more extreme environments then that's obviously when the weather is going to affect your trip more but when you're you know just road tripping around you're not going through any mountain passes or anything it's usually you know the weather's just gonna pass yeah um, it'd be good you get on get on with your trip we have some more kinds coming in so we have uh Ki kiwi lauren saying lovely i miss those views so much can't wait to get back there i've been saying it for too long life needs to line up and let me actually get there yeah i know you've been talking a long time about it kiwi lauren but yeah we're we're keen to see you coming to new zealand as well and to have that dream finally coming back to reality although you have already been to new zealand so at least, at least you have had that that experience we have todd here saying i need to i need to get ready to drive on the left side of the road such a trip show them the show them the road have a look at the road what it looks like so we, we're helping you practice right here heard um heard it doesn't take long to adjust no, it really doesn't. Uh, I always say, so I always take the example, and actually I said that if you rewind the live show all the way from the beginning, right? Uh, first you'd see us driving a lot so you can get used to it as well. But uh, one of the things that you need to do when you arrive in New Zealand is to, so when you pick up your car, the first roundabout that you're gonna see, just stop there and watch the traffic goes for about like five, like sorry, 30 seconds. And then, you know, engage in the, in the roundabout. And once you've done that, usually you're kind of good to drive on that side of the road. It's just taking a, a few minutes to actually see the traffic move, and then that's really helpful. And, uh, and then you, you go, you're definitely good to go. Uh, Chance has a question. Oh, yeah. Saying, um, is it worth paying for a separate trip to the Waitomo Caves if the intercity bus doesn't stop there? There are so many places I want to see, and I want to see as much as I can of the South Island. So if you pri if you prioritize South Island, you want to swap the camera. Uh, if you're prioritizing the South Island over the North Island, and you still want to see glowworms, at that point, if you're planning on doing to the town, John, going to the township of Tia now, uh, then you have some really amazing glowworm caves there. And uh, the tour is really cool because it includes uh, it includes uh, uh, sorry a cruise on Lake Mapurika, which is one of the most scenic lake in the Fiona National Park. So I think it's really awesome. And I think you can get away without going to Tia to to wait a more if you were to planning on going to Tia now and do the tour there. And the uh, intercity does stop in Tiana and then all the tools to go to the Tiana Glowworms will actually pick you up in the town of Tiana, so that could work as well. Uh, if you were planning on doing some caving and you want to do it in the South Island, there are some really cool places to do caving in the west coast of the South Island. Charleston, yeah. So they have um, Underworld Adventures. Is uh, It's less known than Blackwater Rafting, for instance, or the Waitomo Adventures in, in Waitomo, but Underworld Adventures in Charleston is an alternative glowworm cave with um, where, where you do tubing, going through rapids and caving, that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, I would recommend that if you, that is, uh, it will definitely be on the intercity route going down the west coast, so you could factor that one in as well. So, just be, just know that Waitomo basically it isn't the only place in New Zealand to see glowworms so have a look at some chance maybe you want to go on nzpocketguide.com have a look at where to see just just type in glowworms in the search bar um, of nzpocketguide.com we have lots of articles where it recommends places all over the country to see them so you might find somewhere that fits with your itinerary better so we'd suggest to do that um, we have a Samuel here saying... Um, hey Samuel, how are you doing? I'm Samuel. I would like to know the number of years it takes to have a New Zealand visa approved. Uh, it really depends on what visa you're applying and what's your condition, what's your specific case. So the best way to know is to head to immigration.govt.nz. So it's a website. It's the official Immigration New Zealand website. That's your only source of information, which is going to be accurate to help you with immigrating in New Zealand. So immigration.govt.nz. Keep that in mind. Check it out. Uh, all right, guys, this live session will soon be over. We are going to show you the amazing howling carvings of Tokoroa. And then we will swap to an hour of live session for our Patreon subscribers. So we'll do another hour of that, hopefully with less interruption. 
for our Patreon subscribers. If you feel like supporting us, it's really cheap. It starts now only five bucks a month and you get heaps of perks and you can cancel anytime. So check that out. Also, I need to tell you about Almond. There is a bit of a series of video that we show you every week uh, from a French backpacker called Armand. Yep. Um, this one here. Town after. center. Uh, and then, yeah, try this sure? one. You sure? No, I'm okay. not sure. Because they're howling on the side of that road. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, thought that maybe you want to go down. No. no. Uh, okay, sorry, so uh, there is a French backpacker called Armand that uh, kind of give us some heads up, I mean, the quick recap every single week to tell us what happens to him. And this week is the first week he has his first interview, sorry, it's not his first week, it's his uh, sixth week. And he had his first interview in New Zealand, so he may be landing a job, yep. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, you'll be able to see that on Wednesday. We just can't show it to you right now because we are, well, live. Uh, and so we don't have the capability of doing anything else than just, uh, you know, trying to make our way and chat as we drive which is already quite a challenge that wasn't a roundabout <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a roundabout sorry about that uh, all right uh cool what else is happening in the live chat we have um kiwi lauren saying safe travels kiwi friends thank you kiwi lauren and then samuel saying you have very nice landscapes yeah it's pretty awesome isn't it all right uh guys i'm going to hunt you hook you right now uh, and we are going to show you the beautiful Tokora Howling Carving. I know to a lot of you it means not much, but to all our Patreon, we've all heard a lot about it. So let's go and show it to you. Woo, all right. Here you go. It is just behind me, just right here. Laura is going to come here in a second. Okay, so we are in Tokora for you, Extreme Talavita. You asked us to come. We are here. Here you go. The carvings are just right there. Okay, um, uh, do you want me to get your phone and see who sure. else is saying goodbye? And so we'll say goodbye to all of you guys from Tokora and we'll swap to um, the live session for our Patreon. So yeah, hope you all had fun. Um, if you want to join us, uh, we probably won't be there for a couple of weeks, but aside from that, we do it usually every Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time. And yeah, you can ask us all your questions about traveling in New Zealand. All right, quick recap. Which comments are we missing? Uh, just Chance saying, you guys are awesome. And Samuel saying, take care, guys. All right, take care, Samuel. And thank you very much, Chance. We hope to see you in another live show. Uh, that'd be fun. And yeah, for all the Patreons, we'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I don't know how to stop it now. <laughs> this is the awkward moment. Ah, uh, here. Yeah.